Teachers, hospital staff, air traffic controllers, civil servants and rail operators are protesting the government's labour reforms and planned job cuts. These include plans to tighten the rules regarding sick days and cutting 120,000 public sector jobs by 2012. Well, Elena Casas is in the middle of these protests and she joins us now from Paris. Hi, Elena. So tell us what's going on there. Well, I'm right in the middle of the march, as you can see, where the unions are congratulating themselves on a big turnout, particularly of train drivers today. As you were saying, they're the people who are really leading this march and they are furious at the Macron government's plan to reform the railways. Now, what the government says is there's a 54.5 billion euro hole in the bottom line of French railways and that the only way they can start to fill that in is by changing the way that railway staff are employed, meaning their pensions in the future will be less generous and they'll no longer have a special retirement regime, which means that many train drivers at the moment can retire at 50. Now the unions and the unionists that I've been speaking to here today are afraid that that's a step towards creeping privatisation, something that they strongly oppose, and they say that they will not be backing down. For them, this is just the first day of protest. They intend to strike for two days a week for the next three months. That's 36 days when it will be very difficult to get a train anywhere in France. And they say they won't be backing down unless the government does. Macron, of course, is very determined himself. We've seen in the past when he forced through a labour law reform in the autumn that he won't be put off by angry protests on the street. And he says that the train drivers won't be able to force him to back down either. The historical precedent, though, would suggest that the train drivers will win. Certainly in previous uh, protests that have caught train drivers out onto the street here in France, the government always backed down. Now, though, Macron seems determined to face off against the unions.